All right, guys. Um, well, the start of a really long road trip here for us for the next few weeks, um, you know, down to Middle Tennessee. Um, you know, we, you know, we're in a we're in a challenging situation with the amount of travel we have coming up over the next few weeks, and the fact that, you know, both of these last two opponents, Middle Tennessee and Old Dominion, are both fighting to be a part of the Conference USA tournament, and so we're we're going to be playing against desperate teams that are you know, fighting for their postseason lives. And so it's going to be a huge challenge to go out on the road and and continue to find ways to win. And um, so we're looking forward to that challenge. So questions. Hey, Coach. Uh, Jared with the Daily News. You know, you mentioned them playing for something. You guys have something to play for, too. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe with a sweep this weekend, you claim the top seed in USA's East Division. You know, being in that position at this point, you know, how good is that and how motivating is that for your team? Well, it's exciting. I mean, it's always exciting to be playing for a championship and, you know, with so much uncertainty that came along with playing, uh, you know, this spring and, and, and dealing with all of the ups and downs and the issues that COVID presents uh, along the way, you know, and being that team with a target on our back, you know, every single day, you know, being the favorite, um, you know, I'm really, I'm really, really proud of how our teams managed that up to this point. Like I said, we've got a couple really challenging weekends ahead of us, but, you know, to have an opportunity to go down, you know, in the next to last weekend of the of the regular season and clinch a, a, another uh, championship is something that, um, you know, is is motivating for us. And um, and I hope our kids value that opportunity. You know, we've been blessed to to do this a lot lately. And, um, you know, we have some kids in our program. It's all they've that's all they've known is is winning conference championships. But as their coach, you know, as successful as I've been, I've still lost as many as I've won. And, um, and I understand the value of each and every one of them. And, and they're all special. And we, we hope to add another one this weekend. Hey, Coach, it's Cassie from the Herald. So um, two pretty important um, away, match, away series um, coming up. So um, what are some specifics on what the team has been improving on? And um, what have they been practicing on? Like any specifics that you can point out? Yeah, it's kind of all running together at this point, Cassidy, because we're we are preparing for these last two weekends. But due to the fact that we're on the road this weekend, on the road next weekend, and then straight to the tournament the next weekend, uh, practice opportunities in general are in short supply. You know, we have just a handful of practices left between now and conference championship time, and um, and so you know we're trying to really focus on um, you know getting back to the fundamental things that that have turned us into the team that we are. And, you know, our practices this week, you know, you might think by the end of the year, it's getting really, uh, really advanced. And to be honest, as we get back closer to the end, it starts simplifying again, and it starts being about doing little things well. We, you know, we are who we are at this point in the season. And, you know, I think everybody else is pretty much who they are. You're not gonna, you know, change who you are a ton with two weeks to go. And so it's really about doing the things that you do well. and. Um, you know, and that's always going to center around serving the ball well. That's always going to center around first contact, you know, passing the ball well, you know, digging balls with control because the one constant that we know we are is very, very good offensively. And so if we can get to that third touch in a quality manner, uh, then we know that we've got players that can finish plays at the net. And so, you know, it's really just been a return to simplistic stuff. And if we do those things well, I think those are the teams that win come tournament time. You know, looking at this Middle Tennessee team, I believe they're fourth in, uh, you know, hitting percentage and then some of the defensive categories there, you know, a little bit towards the bottom of the conference. Uh, I believe a trio of girls with between like 120 and 140 kills somewhere in there. I guess what stands out to you about um, their team? Yeah, I think you hit it really on the nail, um, Jared. They're, offensively, they're, they're a solid team. They're a really good team. They're, you know, in, in our sport, what makes you really difficult to defend is when you have multiple options. And, you know, they do. They're, they have some depth to their offense. They, you know, they'll spread the ball around really well and give it to a lot of different kids. And so that makes them a little bit more of a challenge to get stopped. And, um, you know, on the other side of the ball, defensively, I think the challenge for them is going to be getting us stopped. Um, you know, they're not, when you look at their blocking numbers, they're not, you know, one of the better blocking teams in the league to this point. Um, you know, and so from a physicality standpoint, if we handle the ball well, I think that um, that we should be able to get some things done offensively. And and so it's really about us defending. You know, again, I, that's the thing I've been the most proud of is I think it's very easy for our team to lean on our offensive talent. 
But if you look at us most of this spring, uh, we've defended at an incredibly high level. And that's why I think the margin of victory has been so big for us. And so, you know, what we'll try to focus on over the next few days is, is trying to get middle stopped and then let the offense take care of itself. Hey, Coach, it's Cassidy again. So you hit on this briefly with my previous question, but at the beginning of the season, you said that the team was improving on um, serving and getting the small balls. So mm -hmm. do, uh, we're coming towards the end of the season. So um, do you have any, like, remarks um, on big improvements that you've seen specific players or the team as a whole um, improve on? Yeah, the, the, the small ball stuff that, you know, the little – stuff off the top of the block and tips and rolls and things like that, that, you know, we've, we've improved tremendously since the beginning of the year. That was a real Achilles for us at the beginning of the year. And uh, we've, we've improved tremendously from the service line. I continue to try to just add a player, you know, uh, Hallie Shelton has been a terrific server all year long. Ashley Hood has been an aggressive server and has scored a lot of points for us all year long. You know, uh, Paige Briggs has grown as a server. We're getting more done from her. And so, you know, we're just trying to continue to add players. Logan Kale is a kid that has served really well for us the last few weeks. And we, we just continue to try to add, you know, another play and another player because, you know, Hallie Shelton's a tremendous server, but when, when a team sides out, she doesn't get to serve again until five more servers go through the lineup. And so, you know, it's important that we have depth to our serving game. And, and uh, little by little, I think we've done that. You know, um, Avery Davis, since that Marshall match where she had her first double digit kill day, I believe, um, you know, it seems like she's been playing well, I believe 10 kills um, against West Virginia, you know, she's hitting over 300, I think, in the last three or four matches, you know, what have you seen from her in terms of her improvement? Well, uh, you, you were exactly right about that. Avery kept us in the West Virginia match early on with, uh, with her play offensively, but, you know, the thing if you ask Avery that question, I think the thing she would tell you over and over and over is I'm on her daily about being more aggressive. She is eye-poppingly athletic. When you, I say this a lot, when you put the measurables side by side, Avery Davis and Lauren Matthews are almost identical in terms of the measurables, in terms of how high they jump and how they play and how physical they are and all of those kinds of things. And so uh, I know there's a lot more inside that kid than, than what we've gotten out of her to this point and I continue to push. Um, you know, I think, I think aggressiveness comes with confidence. And, you know, I think she's a kid that her confidence is starting to grow a little bit in terms of her having the ability to do some things out there. She, she was a middle hitter coming here and we've moved her to the outside and that takes time. And um, so I think as Avery has gotten more comfortable, you know, I think she's in a great situation to be honest with, with our lineup right now, because you know, there's not a ton riding on her every single match. We have kids that we can go to in big moments, and it's allowed her to get out there and just kind of work through some things and, and start having some success and build confidence. And it is my hope that with that continued confidence, she will continue to get more and more aggressive because when she does, I think she's going to turn into a really spectacular offensive player for us. I've got a question about availability. You didn't have Logan Kale um, Friday night, and you were also flying solo um, with your staff. You know, I guess who are you? Ex are you expecting them all back, or who are you expecting out? Or I guess what should we expect? Yeah, everything's on track. Um, you know, to to uh, have a little more help this weekend. Um, you know, Logan Kale was dealing with a concussion. And um, she's kind of gotten through the protocol and they've eased her back in, you know, every day that's gone by and, and she's on track if she gets through today well, uh, that she should be available to us this weekend, which will be obviously a big boost for us. And then, uh, yeah, you know, my staff got caught up in a, in a contact tracing situation with COVID. Uh, same thing, they've, they've passed all the subsequent tests and things like that. And so um, uh, we hope that they'll, uh, be on that bus at 1130 tomorrow when we head to Middle Tennessee because uh, I need a nap uh, because this has been a this has been a pretty taxing, you know, last seven, eight days for me. And, um, you know, it, it, I didn't need to know that my staff was very valuable to me, but uh, I think it's absolutely shown itself over the last week. Anything else for Travis? All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. All right. <laughs>
We've got Avery Davis here. Go ahead with questions when you're ready. Hey, Avery, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News here in Bowling Green. Um, you know, you head into this weekend with a chance to, um, you know, clinch the top spot in CUSA's East Division. You know, first of all, how exciting is that and how motivating is that for you guys heading down to Murfreesboro? Uh, it's pretty exciting, but the motivation has stayed the same. For us, it's just any other game that we have to go play our best and win. Hey, Avery, this is Cassie from the Herald. So um, how have you guys been preparing specifically um, for this upcoming match um, and the Old Dominion series being at your first of the kind? Well, for the MTSU match, we've been focusing on like, um, so they have their depth in the front row is like really big. So we've been focusing on every single spot, making sure that our defense is well prepared for each hitter. You know, Travis talked a lot about your defense and how much that's helped you guys, um, you know, so, so far this spring in terms of like the margin of victory for you guys. You know, how have you seen defensively this team improve through 14 matches now? The biggest thing I've seen for us defensive wise is our communication. Uh, most of our back row has been like on each other, like, hey, you can do this, like you need to push you, do this and this. They've also been on the front row, like for off blocker and stuff, making sure that we're always attentive to it and that we're doing it. Um, hey, Avery, it's Cassie again. So I have a question just regarding like the Old Dominion series, because I think that's going to be a very interesting series, uh, just because it's like, like I said, the first of its kind. Um, so they fell um, to Charlotte this week. Um, they were swept by Charlotte. So um, have you guys looked into that team um, a lot? And like, what have you like received from that scouting report? We haven't looked into them too much yet because as you know, the game got canceled last time. So we've kind of just haven't focused on them. So like now, but we will start getting into it after the MCSU game. You know, for you personally, um, it seems like you've been coming on really strong. You know, this West Virginia match that you just played, you had um, 10 kills, and Travis said that you really helped the team, especially early in that match, to stay in it. You know, I guess where's your confidence at, and, you know, how have you seen your own game improve, you know, throughout the past 14 games or so? Um, my confidence has been growing little by little. The more I play, the more I get used to it, the more better I do. And it's just been getting easier for me to see blocks and it's been easier for me to get blocks. And as I progress and keep going, I think it'll keep getting bigger and bigger. Anything else for Avery? All right. Thank you. All right, and last but not least, we have Taylor Bebout. Go ahead with questions when you're ready. This is Jared McDonald with the Daily News here in Bowling Green. Um, you know, first question asked Travis and Avery, you know, you guys kind of control your own destiny this weekend, have a chance to, you know, lock up that top seed in CUSA's East Division. How exciting is that? And, you know, I guess what's the focus heading into this weekend for you guys? Um, it's very exciting, especially because, you know, most of the years I've been here, we've won the regular season championship and it's a lot to look forward to. But at the same time, um, it's just another game for us. We haven't really changed, you know, our mindset or anything like that. So, yeah. Hey, Taylor, this is Cassie with the Herald. So um, what have you guys received from the scouting report against MTSU? And um, what are you guys training on specifically like going into these, this rival series this weekend? So with MTSU, they have, um, like Avery said, a lot of depth to their front row. And at practice, we've been focusing on a lot in the back row on our defense, you know, making sure we're in the right spots, being prepared for the for the small balls to come over. And then what was your other question? Sorry. Um, I just asked like what specifics that you guys are training on like with this upcoming series. Okay. So yeah, our defense and then, you know, the front row has been working on communication and the big thing has been blocking, you know, knowing where your hitters are, communicating with each other, stuff like that. You know, for this last stretch, I know you didn't have Logan last match um, and the staff, it's pretty much just Travis, it sounds like. He said he could use a nap. Um, you know, how challenging has this week been for you guys? It honestly hasn't been that challenging for us. We've kind of been left on our own. Like the defense have been left on their own because his main focus is offense. And he trusts us enough to, you know, run drills on ourselves, hold each other accountable do the right things when he's not looking. And 
that's a big part of our team is culture. And with that, we have a lot of trust in each other. Hey Taylor, it's Cassie again. So I asked Coach this question, but um, at the beginning of the season, he said that you guys are improving um, on your setting and like getting those small balls and stuff. Um, so like, do you have any like shout outs, any specific players or like, um, are there anything, is there anything specific like you've seen you or your team improve on within the season? I think everyone has improved a great deal this year, you know, all the way from the freshmen who this is their first experience in college all the way up to you know the old folks the seniors and it's just great to be able to see everybody improve 